Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to this maintenance video. And today we will do an advanced maintenance. This PBSD 900A1 park side belt sender. My happiness finally found the uh, sending belts for the device. It's 500. 33 millimeter and 75 millimeter wide first of all we need to remove all the sawdust and other dust from the device from inside so we can easily access the screws Now, after thorough <laughs> de-dusting, not really thorough, still some places. Okay, now the screws are clearly visible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. some more so what those do we need at the moment it's ph2 screwdriver or you can use a machine assisted Let's start to remove all the screws. Here's the driving belt. Most of the screws are the same size. Exception of these two, a long one and a shorter one. Long one goes here, the shorter here. Now let's continue. driving wheel you need just lift it up take it out and this is how it works actually it spins as you take off this cover the electric electric motor now we can access one of the bearings that we lubricate and also we can furthermore blow out the dust in the electric motor compartment now this phase maybe looks scary for some of you but you need to take attention here are the connections the motor uh -huh. and an 
another part that we need to lubricate. That is another bearing. And we'll see how we can get to this one, this part. Now probably I won't be able to take this gear off, it's pressure fitted, I don't have the tools to take it off, but there is a bearing inside, so I need to find a way how to lubricate that. Now if you take out these three screws, then you can slide this off. So clearly the screw you can adjust on which side the valve should run. Screw it out completely and you will be able to take this one off. I don't want to disassemble it furthermore because the area is what I want to maintain is accessible the switch is working properly so I don't want to take it apart this part is from the screw Mount is not for this sort of application. Well, let's get back to the basics. So here is a channel where this can stuck in. I noticed already that even if I connect it to a vacuum system, it's not collecting the dust. So now I know why. Now let's assess what moving parts do we have that we need to lubricate. Here, this block, bearing, another bearing. And this will be a challenge. There's a bearing inside as well. 
in this part. Now here is a tricky part because this is spring operated. Oh. <laughs> it has fallen off. Anyway, you just need to hold the spring here as you insert the shaft. Definitely need to get a head mount. Yeah, this is what I mentioned. Would fall enough. Here you can insert it. to its place. I disengaged spring. Now the another hole has fallen out. So as you insert it, you need to make sure that the bearing sits into its place. And here this one. Inside. It's funny that I cannot show you this important process, but improving the thumb its way. Now this was a real pain in the ass. First you should insert this graphite uh, connection, I don't know the English name. But it has an angle. And if you find the proper angle, then it will be in its place. Now it comes the second one, and then we can start to screw it together. This was a pain in the ass. Before you fully assemble it, just do a function check. Now let's put back the screws on this side. For the driving belt, 
because we added lubricant because I couldn't take this off it's full of a dry lubricant you should clean it with a brake cleaner to have uh, the best connection the easiest way to put this on Okay, so this is how to do it and it just rolls on. As you start to spin, it goes on. Oh, I just <laughs> noticed that something is missing. So after the assembly, don't forget to put this part back. The next one, I need to put back the base, three screws, and this one. Now as a final touch, you should set the diamond screw. And the device is ready to go. Now hopefully you learned something new today or I could give you some new information or knowledge that will help you to maintain your device but if you were satisfied just give a thumbs up well this setup was a fail indeed